Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to review Fallout's second episode, which has been titled Target. Very firstly, the Target doctor is seen bonding with a dog, where he trains him and feeds him and keeps him hidden. He is also seen making something nuclear and injecting it inside his own head. But one day, a doctor sees him and his dog and is killed by the dog as he was attacking Wilzek, so they have to escape. On the other side, Lucy is seen walking and walking and she is astonished by how vast the world is. She finds everything intriguing. Lucy also finds some cops on the way. At night, she lights fire and is seen drifting away to sleep. But then she is waken up by the dog's growling, where the dog kills an enlarged cockroach who was about to attack her. The doctor also asks her to leave and go home. Lord Titus also turns out to be not so idealistic and he is totally not worth the armor. They are seen arriving at a cave where a radioactive bear attacks Titus and Maximus lets him die. Lucy is then seen going over some hills to go to a town called Philly and it's actually filled with people. She is too good for this world and this I can say for sure, asking around for her dad, where Growl is also present there. She also comes to know how she doesn't really know what were the vaults really made for. Now Wilzig really knows about Vault 33 and he also lets her know all the details about her vault in order to let her know that he knows her circumstance and why she should leave. But then he is attacked by the girl and he shoots Wilzig's leg off along with stabbing his dog. Lucy also tries to help but when she is about to be shot Maximus arrives, but he is still new. Lucy and Wilzik thankfully get some time due to Maximus, where his suit is damaged by Gaul, and Gaul seems to be not too much affected by this little face-off. Lucy agrees just because the person whom Wilzik is going to is Maldevar. At the end, Wilzik is seen taking a cyanide pill as he can't walk anymore, and he trusts Lucy to deliver his head to Maldevar. His final words are, I trust you, Miss McLean so he definitely knows something more about them. Maybe her father is a part of a plan to save the future. So guys, stay tuned for further more updates and if you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, share and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you.